in this particular skill, we are going to uh, find an athlete who is in the prone position and uh, we want to make sure that we roll him safely directly onto the spine board. As we encounter the athlete, one of the first things that the um, person at the head is going to do is going to uh, check them, check for vital signs, check for breathing, uh, consciousness. If we find any emergency situations, we're immediately going to want to call 911. If he's breathing and has a pulse and conscious, but we suspect that he has a spinal trauma, that's when we're going to actually make that decision to roll the athlete. Because we suspect a spinal trauma, I want to make sure that I come in and stabilize his head and neck. So the way that I do that is I do what's called a cross-handed technique, which means that I'm going to come in on either side with my arms rotated because we are going to roll him in this direction, uh, which allows me to maintain that stabilization throughout the roll. So as soon as I come in and I stabilize the head and neck, then my assistants can come in and we can roll him directly onto the board. So the board is going to come in from the side, right in front of our uh, athletic training students. Once it's placed in the proper position, they're going to reach across, making sure that they're grabbing at the shoulders, at the waist, and at the legs. The important piece is that we communicate and so everybody knows that we're going to be doing this at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count one, two, three, and say roll. And when I say the word roll, everybody's going to roll together and place him directly onto the spine board and we'll roll him uh, fully onto his back. The entire time I'm main maintaining the inline stabilization. So does everybody understand what we're going to do? Okay, so one, two, three, roll. As we roll him, we're going to slowly place him down firmly onto the ground. The entire time I'm continuing to mainline maintain inline stabilization. You might find that the athlete is just slightly not centered. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're actually going to slide him over just a little bit. So in order to do this, sometimes it's helpful to get a few more uh, people to be able to assist and help. So we need three people on this side and then three people on this side. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're going to slide him down just a little bit and then slide him back up till he's firmly placed onto the board. So one, two, three, down. One, two, three, up. And once he's placed directly in the center of the board, then we can put our straps and put in place. Once his body is secured onto the board, we're going to secure the helmet down with a um, helmet strap. And once he's fully secured, now we can actually transport.